Hi friends, welcome back. So in the state space analysis, I hope you people are doing well. Today I am going to start the controllability and observability. This is the last topic of the unit. So let me finish it. So friends, let's come to direct definition. Then we will see the mathematical form. A system is said to be controllable if it is possible to transfer the initial state to desired state in a finite time interval by control input. See here you can you know what they are saying it if it is possible to transfer the initial state to desired state the initial state of the system is given you can change that okay in the finite time interval by the control input. So if I'll talk about the observability, a system is said to be observable if it is possible to determine the initial state of the system by observing the output. So I am not going deep in detail, directly I will come to the mathematical form of this. So mathematically given by you know Kalaman's test and this is for uh, C. Controllability and observability, first we need to know what is the state equations. Like if you have state equation Ax plus Bu and y equal to you have cx suppose okay so and you want to observe the the given system is controllable or not the given system is observable or not okay so the formula is given qc this is for controllability i'm taking you need to form this matrix b a b a square b like this you will continue till a n minus 1 b you will form this first okay then you have to find out the determinant of this okay or i can say you have, you have to find the rank of this correct now the rank of this suppose you form this matrix first then you find out the determinant and rank of this system and suppose you have find the rank rank QC for this given system and if this rank QC is equal to rank of A but the condition is the determinant of this QC should not be equal to 0 should not be equal to 0 if this condition is satisfied then this system is controllable this system is controllable system so first you need to form this here this is b then you will multiply a and b then a square b like this you will multiply till n minus 1 here n is the order what is the order suppose you have 4 cos cross 4 so till a cube will go okay so what is my point my point is after forming this you need to find out the determinant of this determinant is not equal to 0 it means rank of QC is equal to rank of A and if this condition satisfied then you can say it's controllable okay this is the mathematical form and for QA QA for observability or QO you can take QO for the observability I can take this you need to form here the matrix like this CT here CT AT A 2T this is a transpose square actually CT as it is it will go like this till to the power n minus 1 CT this is the form so once you frame this now you will find out the determinant of this okay and if your determinant is not equal to 0 then you will conclude that your system is observable remember it should not be equal to 0 isn't it if if this q q of o that is the observable matrix is the determinant is 0 then this is not observable not observable so for the gate point of view this both so both you know uh, topics very important observability and uh, 
controllability very very important we'll get so many questions from this only okay so the observability is finished now how to find it see suppose now the question how they will frame, frame the question like it's given y is divided by u is the transfer function given and you know very well how to form the state space equation if you have given with number one differential equation number two transfer function number three sfg number four electrical network so sfg and electrical network they are rare till now according to the examination the question i have seen so basically you got the questions from the tf format or the differential format okay so here the tf format is given i hope it's clear to you people you are doing well i think 2s square plus 3s square plus 4 okay now you need to form a b c you need right you need to form the state equation so directly i'll find out a here as i told you the order is 3 it means 3 cross 3 matrix you have here it is 0 1 0 0 0 1 from where you will start from the end with negative sign so this will be minus 4 one term is missing i think i'm wrong here this is a only so here minus 3 and minus 2 agree so this is a okay we studied this already you can check the videos if you have any problem let's come to b now b is very simple we'll start from 0 0 and 1 well, i'm taking three uh, points because the order is 3 okay so b is over now i'll talk about c but here in this question actually he's asking for the check the controllability of the system this question says check the controllability of the system okay so i need two things only a and b correct so this is the order three it means how many how many terms will come in the qc see we have seen the qc formula i'll write over here this is will start from b then a b then a square b and so on so this will go up to a square b right because the last term we have seen is a n minus 1 b here n is 3 so it will go up to a square b okay so you need b yes you have b no problem at all you need a b so you will multiply these two things let's multiply this two so so you will multiply i'll directly write i'm going to frame the qc okay so this is the matrix a big matrix in which i'll form three columns and columns values are b a b a square b so b is given directly these are the terms so 0 0 1 let's find out a b here this is b here you will write a b here a square b correct so let's find out a b when you will multiply this a with this b you will get 0 1 minus 2 okay now first square it then multiply it okay so when you will do like this you will get 1 minus 2 and here uh, it will be 1 okay so this is the matrix now now in the next step what you will do you will find out the determinant of this matrix isn't it so when you will find out the determinant you will get minus 1 is it equal to 0 no so qc is not equal to 0 what it means it means your system is 100 percent controllable okay so this is over so like this you will get two marks question in gate examination okay now i'll take the problem based on the observability you know very well the observability formula mathematical formula q o equal to 
matrix in matrix C transpose into A not into uh, in the second column A transpose into C transpose in the third column A, t A transpose square into C transpose transpose like this. So here this is the next question in which they are asking check the controllability and observability. So friends this is 2 by 2 order of 2 cross 2 isn't it? So so first I'll check the controllability. Controllability formula says B A B okay so till now only correct now 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 B is here it's given 1 minus 1 let's find out the a b when you will multiply this with this a with this b you'll get a b and the value of that i'm going to write directly this okay so in the next moment what you will find out you'll find out the determinant of this matrix isn't it so let's find out the determinant here is the determinant so this minus 2 minus plus 2 equal to 0 what you will say this is not not controllable okay so for the controllable i'm writing just a c o n so this question is clearly not controllable now let's find out the observability isn't it for observability it will go c transpose a transpose c transpose okay so so the C transpose is 1, 1. Now, now A transpose and C transpose when you will multiply, you will get 1, 1. Okay. So let's find out this. So this is 1 minus 1, that is 0. So what it indicates? Both are not observable and not controllable. Now we have some points related to this. So here I have two points for you. A pair of A and B is controllable. Wait. A pair of A and B is controllable. Then pair of A transpose B transpose will be observable. And if this pair is observable, then A T B T will be controllable. Here are the two points. Okay. Now we'll take some gate problems. So come to this problem. This is the two marks problem. Gate 2015. Okay. 15 two marks. So in two marks they are asking two minutes problem. Isn't it very easy problem? Na daaye na baaye. Sida sida question puchte hain. Okay. So you can read this the network given by the state space equation given everything asking for the transfer function now now we, some of you are thinking that to find out the characteristic equation it's, we can get the answer no because mostly the denominators for all the options are same so you have to go by procedure and you have to find out by step by step the transfer function we have seen is tell me si minus a inverse here you mul multiply by C and here by B plus D. So D is not given, it's 0. So you have the transfer function now as I minus A inverse B. Isn't it? So now just put the values. Uh, first find out the A value. What is the A? I'm writing over here. Here A is. Uh, 2 minus 1 2 minus 1 here no x1 term so 0 minus 4 ok now what about b b here multiply of uh, you know u is 3 and the second is it's minus 1 right let's find out c so c is 3 minus 2 see here everything is given you need to find out just si minus a inverse then we will multiply with c and then b so si minus a si minus a inverse so first form si minus a 
so it will be s minus 2 1 s plus 4 and 0 you have to find out inverse of it okay and you know very well the inverse of it is nothing but adjoint this divided by determinant of this isn't it so so adjoint of this will be s plus 4 you will interchange these two terms and will take negative sign with the remaining and s minus 2 here minus 1 and 0 and this is uh, adjoint divide by determinant that is s minus 2 s plus 4 now we'll multiply inside by c and b okay so in the next stage i'll do that so finally what you have in your hand is you need to multiply the transfer function is now this is c that is c c is what 3 minus 2 3 minus 2 and here the transfer function s plus 4 minus 1 0 s minus 2 in division this one is also given the determinant determinant multiply here by b and b is 3 minus 1 okay just multiply inside final result i'm writing for you this is the very easy you can do the reverse right 11 s plus 35 divided by s minus 2 s plus 2 this will be as it is then the multiplication of this uh, C, A and B will be 11 plus 30, 11 S, I'm sorry, this is, is 11 S plus 35, this is your answer friend, okay. So in the next lecture, we'll see some more problems. For new updates, you can subscribe Gatematic and you can find us on the Facebook for the doubts only. We'll meet in the next lecture, till then, take care and bye.